Continuing to fill questions for U.S. Similia, I have a student asking from within our Telegram group about uh, because step one is now pass-fail, should he or she study for both exams at the same time? Is there an ideal type of calibration that could be employed essentially to co-study for both of those exams, all right? Or should you literally just do the standard sequence of study for step one, complete it, study, study for step two? So do I have any uh, pointers or any tips or tricks, holy shit, uh, regarding the prep for the exams? And I can give you a very fucking clean and excellent answer here. So before we start, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below, and I'll start the clip. So in terms of the study for step one, two, uh, should you literally just go sequentially, or uh, could you even co-study in certain circumstances, especially if you're tight on time, uh, you want to apply for the match, etc. Okay. And my response is you are always going to singularly study for one exam at a time. Okay. And on top of that, in almost all circumstances, I want you sitting step one before step two, even if you are a practicing doctor post-grad and you feel as though you're more fresh on the clinical stuff, it's a bad fucking idea with a numerical step two that is the bulk, that is pretty much all of your competition, or sorry, your competitiveness. It would be asinine to sit step two prior to step one since sitting step one first is absolutely going to augment your score in step two, okay? So step one, you're going to do all of UWorld. You're going to do uh, NBME's 20 through 24 offline following UWorld. You're going to do free 120. You're going to do NBME's 25 through 30 online. You're going to sit the real deal. That's the short version of it. I made many prior clips discussing how to go through UWorld, how to go through the NBME exams, and uh, extensively that process. For step two, you're going to do all UWorld. You're going to do all the clinical master series forms, just 44 forms, the NBME subject specific forms. Then you're going to do offline NBME six through eight, then free 120, and then a double pass of the CMS forms. Holy shit. Then you're going to do online NBMEs nine through 12. Okay. And I want you to study for each exam singularly, as I just fucking said. In terms of overlap, I mean, if we want to entertain that notion in some form, I could potentially mention that my PDFs, students will frequently ask, are they for step one or for step two? Many of my PDFs uh, actually do have points, factoids from both exams, okay? So obviously I have, I have step two specific PDFs, PEDS, OBS and GYN, surgery, etc. I have step one specific PDFs, immuno, biochemistry, etc. But core subjects such as cardio, pulmonary, renal, there's points from both steps in there. So you could look at my free high yield PDFs as you should be doing anyway. Your Tetrad for US Only Prep step one and two should be UWorld, that's number one. Number two, all of the NBME CMS content, as I said. Number three, my PDFs. Number four, my audio cue bank here on the YouTube. You know the deal, make to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.